morning, it's Barbara. I'm going to show you my new Cosmo fixings. This is vodka and frozen cranberries and orange peel ready to go into the sous vide. And basically what that means is Dennis is going to put this into hot water, 135 degrees, and it's going to stay in there for three hours. And then it's going to be delicious vodka cranberry and orange flavored vodka the orange was carol's idea this is the one that dennis made me last night because this was the proof of concept i bought enough cranberries to do three quarts quart bottles um but i wasn't sure how it would turn out so we did one last night i mean well, it's only three hours so why not and it is absolutely delicious and it's the recipe is basically seven ounces of frozen cranberries the peels of one orange and fill the jar up with vodka and keep it at 135 degrees for three hours dennis has a sous vide for that but it was delicious it makes a delicious cosmo which cosmo recipe is normally vodka cranberry juice cointreau or some other orange flavored liqueur and lime juice I mostly have lemon juice, but I did one with lime. It was absolutely delicious. So I am very excited. Dennis is making me more, and who knows how. And it's made with frozen cranberries, so you can make it whenever you want. Anyway, yum, yum. The sun's this way, so it's hard to see. I don't know if you can see how gorgeously red these leaves are, but this is the red tree here, and it's losing its leaves. Dennis mulched this yard two days ago and it is a carpet he's gonna have to mulch it again soon or all this grass is gonna die and i blew, got the leaf blower out the other day and blew all the leaves off this deck so i'm gonna have to get the leaf blower out again oh, work is never done good morning it's barbara look i got my hair cut so glad oh my gosh oh my gosh although I kind of teased my hairdresser. I said, I used to be a big uh, uh, payer for you, earner. I said, I was a big earner for you before. Not anymore. This is my first haircut in six months. I was supposed to get it cut in July. I guess I told you that. But my friend's funeral was the same day. And it took me this long to get it rescheduled. Because of me, not because of her. Good morning. The girls, the girls have identified something that needs to be chased down and barked at in the back of the yard. Probably a deer. Hmm. I can hear them walking back there. Although the girls probably can't see them anymore. Otherwise, they'd still be barking. Good morning. It is gorgeous on my deck. It rained a tiny bit last night just enough to get everything wet but it's dry already so it wasn't very much rain but the driveways looked wet um yeah so it's really nice out and uh, i think today might be the last nice day for for a while and then it's supposed to get warm again so who knows anyway so yesterday uh, I got my hair cut. I did my, I did my yoga before I went. So that worked out fine. I barely, you know, I barely made it in time. Although, uh, Sue was running late. So I sat there for a while. So I could have been a little late, but I was fine. And yeah. So then I went grocery shopping and I bought the frozen cranberries and I, oh, that my Cosmo I made was so delicious. Now I made the I made one. They're they're small. I just want to preface this. They're small. Uh, with we had a we had a lime in the fridge, and so I juiced the lime. Now I put in the juice of one lime, and the lime was only this big. So we're not talking about a big cocktail, but it turned out delicious. So I made one with lemon juice and it was also delicious because I happen to have a lot of lemon juice. <laughs> 
much more than lime. Although the fancy juicing video, uh, super juice video, uh, and I, I will see if I can find it. I don't know. Am I, I might be the only one who uses a lot of lemon juice, but, um, or lime juice or orange juice. You can do it with oranges too. And, um, so I will find, I will find, see if I can find that video and link to it below, but it's Kevin Koss, K-O-S-S, -S, and it's called Super Juice. He's a bartender, so he does all kinds of things. Dennis went through this period where he was finding, uh, following all these bartenders and they were making all these great drinks. I mean, I told you about it at the time. And we found this Super Juice, and I've been making this Super Juice for, what, two years now? And it's really working out great. I have four wine bottles full of lemon juice in in the in the fridge so yeah it's working out good but I'm making fluff today where I ran out of fluff and um, and it uses quite a bit of lemon juice too because I make lemon lemon flavored fluff because I have the lemon juice and you know it's easier <sighs> I'm in a shadow. I don't have my glasses on, but you can see my hair. <laughs> Maybe I should be sitting on the other side of the table. I don't know. The sun is just, it's very, you know, I guess our time changes tomorrow night, Sunday morning, right? I guess it does. Oh, and it's my friend's birthday tomorrow. I'll have to remember to call her. Happy All Saints Day to those who celebrate. And tomorrow is the Day of the Dead. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm making fluff and I use a lot of lemon juice for that. And that's one of the things I'm doing today. But yesterday I went to the store. We made the Cosmo drink. That was fun. Oh, <laughs> I really love it when he finds things for me and he, he's always looking for things for me keeping because he doesn't drink cosmos um but he likes to do things in his sous vide so that can, you know that counts as fun for him and um what else did i do i knit a very tiny bit turns out my arm is sore i don't know if i'm getting and i have one of the paint patches on that uh you guys recommended uh, and I don't know if it's my tendonitis coming back it feels different it feels like a muscle I'm not sure because I'm grinding my coffee now and I'm doing my yoga and I'm knitting and I'll you know and this my arms got out of shape I guess but anyway my muscle does hurt it it hurts to the touch <laughs> even when I'm not using it in fact it hurts more to the touch than it hurts when I'm using it. So I think it's not tendonitis. I think it's a sore muscle. Anyway, I did not, I have not cleaned up the dead plants around here. You can see it's like raining here. But I did get my laundry basket and pulled together all my stuff for my advent for Megan. And I think I have everything I need. Chrissy says you can get wrap, wrapping paper at the dollar store, but I don't need it. I do have wrapping paper. And, um, and I think I've gathered everything I need. So it's just a matter of wrapping it up and finding a box. I think this is going to be... I don't have anything particularly breakable among the gifts which is probably a good thing because I think they're going to be smashed into that box and that box is going to, I'm not going to need any peanuts or, or paper. Hey pup, do you want to say hi? Good morning. Good morning. This is Maisie. Maisie's here. Maisie's here. Good morning puppy. Yeah. All right. I heard you go chase that deer. Go out and chase the deer. <laughs> My dogs are so cuddly. So, yep, 
so I'll be wrapping this weekend and I'm currently in my mind scheduling this mailing for Monday. So that's my plan. And um, yeah, that's my plan. Meanwhile, so today I'm going to be wrapping. I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be maybe knitting a little bit. I'm going to be making fluff and I'm going to be making more Cosmo fixings. Um, I think Dennis is going to want to put those in wine bottles and cork them. Since he's a winemaker, he can, he has wine bottles that, you know, he tries to match his bottles so that he has all the same bottles for a particular batch. So he has some extra bottles that don't match that we use just as containers for like lemon juice and for things like Cosmo fixings. So, so my Cosmo last night was just the juice of a lime, a jigger of the vodka, which had the cranberry flavor and the orange flavor in it, and ice and sweetener I use equal. And it was really good. So I'm tickled. I'm very tickled. But I will try to remember to put the link to the Super Juice video if you have any need for larger quantities or to make your lemons or your limes or your oranges go further in the juice department because it's been a lifesaver for me with the, you know, with the lemon juice because, uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway. I'm feeling pretty good today. I, nothing like a new haircut to make you feel better. And I slept pretty well and that helps too. I didn't do anything stupid like stay up till three o'clock in the morning. So that was good. And uh, yeah, and it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And it doesn't look like there's too much I have to do on the executrix front for a while. So that feels good too. Um, we're waiting for some information and then we, they're going to, he's going to calculate how much inheritance tax we have to pay. And then, um, I have to pay it. And I think that's it for a while. Once next year comes around, we're going to have to do income tax returns and, uh, that kind of thing. So that's it for me. I'm, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. I did my yoga. I did my yoga today. I did, I did, um, I think I'm going to, at the end of my chair yoga today, might be my last day. Um, or the next day. So I went out on Barnes and Noble and I found an ebook about chair yoga for $5. So I bought that. I haven't read any of it yet, but we shall see. I don't know if I can do this. We'll continue to do this without the videos, but I also have not, um, done any research on the app that I have to see what's available and do I want to continue to pay for it. And I haven't looked out on YouTube to see what's available for free in the realm of chair yoga. So I um, could do that. I could think about doing that. I, I might. But put it on my list. I guess it's time to make a little bit of a list. But the first thing on my list is to get my advent organized and out the door. So it gives all the post offices time to get it to New Zealand for me. And, uh, yeah. But other things. But it's a calm, feels like a calm day today. It's pretty lovely out here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry I'm so much in the shade. When the sun goes behind a cloud, I think you can see me better, but it may be that I'm just getting the reflection on the um, screen and that you can see me fine. I hope so. Meanwhile, I hope everybody is on the mend, 
feeling good, working hard to stay healthy, sending my healing thoughts, please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.